And that's why you don't let them get positioned deep in the post. And they need better team defense. How about your man in the post? It takes multiple guys to stop it. And slam dunk by Harris. Harris. Don't you forget, Harden's won an assist title now. This man can pass that rock. For Charlotte, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Williams with the ball. He's against Tucker. And then Washington with the dunk. And that's the kind of lead pass we've come to expect from him. Passes it to Harris. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. And since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Craig, some say they chose him over Jimmy Bump. And while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. I'm sure he'll take the trade-off. And what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. And now the first timeout called here for the Hornets. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Yeah, and with most of the arena against them, they just banded together and trusted one another to make the right play. Even with all that noise, when they had the ball, it never rattled them. Their offense was in tune like it was a home game. Oubre passes to Williams. Plumley trying to break loose. Williams can't hit. The 76ers have gone 4 of 5 from the field so far. Tucker dishes to Embiid. Now the pass to Milton. The offensive rebound. And Embiid is right there. I love the activity from Embiid. Just doing whatever he can to keep plays alive. Getting rewarded for it there. Outside Williams. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Williams has got seven points. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Pass to Milton. Harris against Williams from the baseline. And the 76ers tack on two more. And he's always been a mid-range specialist. Harris has a great sense of when to take those pull-ups. Williams for three, and it's the Hornets another three. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. Philadelphia's gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Harden outside. Harris kicks to Harden. Milton with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. He gets that one. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Williams to the inside. Plumley the pass to Williams. The Hornets need to get a shot off here. 4-3, Oubre. It's hauled in by the 76ers. They're coming off that win against the Nets. And that one was all about offensive execution. Running your plays, picking your spots. And no team is going to shoot 50% every night, but this team has the right approach. When the shots are falling, they can light it up. And so it's Charlotte with it. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Here's the three. No good there. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Getting their first look of the season at this Hornets team. And they usually came out on top when these two teams faced off last year. No surprise, they're the better team. But some of James Harden's career numbers are crazy. But he's also got a lot of first to go along with those overall totals, like the first 60-point triple-double. And Harden was the first player to average 35 points and seven assists in a season. Yeah, and that was in the 2018-19 season. The same year, he was also the first player to score at least 30 points against every other team. No one had done that since the NBA expanded in 2004. Now here's Williams against Washington. He was really on his game. Here's Harris, and slam dunk by Harris. Good opportunity for Harris to get something in the open floor where he can use his athleticism. Ball kicks to Oubre. Pass to Washington. Williams in the post. Guarded by Harris. Williams, that's good. 
and he has been on fire this quarter in terms of his scoring. Hopefully, that fire spreads to his other guys and they can rally. Now, here's Milton. He's covered by Ball. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. LaMelo Ball picks one up. And about the 76ers, Richard, they've been impressive. Yeah, they've been on a 50-win pace for about the last five seasons. And with Joel Embiid every single year, you are going to be a contender. This is their window, and they are bringing in the talent to get it done. And the first one drops. Frank, last offseason, the Hornets decided to part ways with their coach of the past four years. Always a tough decision, and, and this is a critical time for Charlotte. They've got a tremendous young core. They think their time is now, and they want to make a bold move with the new hire. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to settle in on defense. Now, here's Milton. And Harris, wide open. He shoots, gets it to go Harris. from beyond the arc. Four, three. Harris has got 11. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Ball with it, defended by Milton. Williams for three. Rebounded by Tucker. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. On the wing, Milton passes it to Embiid. Shoots over Washington. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Hornets trail by eight. Williams looking around. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. He looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Gordon Hayward checked in for the Hornets. Rozier comes in for Kelly Oubre. Then for the 76ers, Harrell, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. George Niang comes in for P.J. Tucker. And it's the Anthony Melton in for Shake Milton. And the foul called on MP. That'll be his second foul of the game. Team foul. Here's Melton. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. On the wing, Melton. No good from outside. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. Trailing by five. I love the ball movement there. He put that on the silver platter. Just served him up. Philadelphia's gone. Just one of four from three-point range here in the first. And they call an illegal screen. Illegal screen. Yeah, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. That's a very avoidable turnover. You gotta focus on the details. And that rejection had some mustard on it. Huge, huge play. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. When you have an MVP caliber player like Joel Embiid, you have to be in win mode now. And the Sixers are doing everything they can to get their big fella to the finals. That one is off. Is it hard, Richard, to balance the present and the future if you're a team like the 76ers? No, no. You should have 100% focus on here and now. Why? Because players like Embiid only come around every 20, 30 years in your franchise. So you should just hedge all of your bets and try and get it done while you have the window. And it feels like that is truly the direction. There, there's no deviating from it all. No, that's the direction. You look at the champions, the Golden State Warriors, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Lakers, they have all done the same thing. They went into win-now mode. Now, here's Rogier, following the miss by Montrez Harrell. And it's Rogier missing. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Teardrop shot, and it's laid up and in by Harris. Harris has got 13. Nice choice by Harris with the little floater. He has good instincts on the offensive end. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. 
Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game. Still very much up in the air. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. The first free throw is good. Two shots. No good on the second free throw. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76 have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, we're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the first throw line this season. How about over 90%? And the 76ers making a change here. Reed's checked in. Hornets trail by five. It's Williams with the drive. Oh, and the jam by Williams. My goodness.